All parties in the matter of Hannah versus Olsen. Step forward. Amy Hanna is suing her former friend, Tara Olson, for a loan to pay vet bills. Miss Hanna, it is your claim that the defendant owes you money for a vet bill for her dog and also for pet sitting. Yes, that's true, dog. Your Honor. Okay, well, we're going to hear about the vet bill and then I'm going to spend two seconds on the pet sitting. You knew each other from where? I met Tara at church. When? Um, approximately 2013. And tell me what happened with the dog. So on November 20th, Tara and I uh, were um, friends on social media and she posted that her dog Missy had been vomiting for five days and that she uh, wasn't keeping any food down and she asked for prayers. I immediately reached out to her on the phone and I suggested that she immediately take Missy to UC Davis because they have the vet med teaching hospital there. So you had her phone number? Yes. And what did you say when she called you? Look at me, don't look there. Look at me. Do well, you remember the conversation? Absolutely. She wanted me to cancel my work, which I had just started a month, and I said no, that... No, no, no. Listen to me. Don't tell me what she wanted. I asked you what she said to you. She said, what's wrong with your dog? Okay. That sounds normal. Mm -hmm. And you said... Missy's been throwing up. She's sick. She's losing weight. I don't know what's going on. And she said... Well, you need to take her into a vet. And you said... I don't have the money. Is that what you said to her? That's what I said. Okay. And she said to you... I have a credit card. You could put it on if you wanted to take her to the 24-hour vet clinic. And you said? I wouldn't do that. You know, I, I don't... I don't no, really... no, now you're making it up. Now you're making, you're making, the... so far you were 100%. I was uncomfortable 100% with 100% true. I didn't ask you whether you were uncomfortable. Okay. That's not what I asked you. I asked you what you said to her and what she said to you. And so far, the last thing that you said to me was, that I believe was, mm -hmm. well, I have a credit card mm -hmm. and you can put it on the credit card. That I believe. The rest of what you said, you want to rethink a little bit about what your comfort level was. I don't care. So what okay. did you say to her when she said, I have a credit said, card? No. You said no. And what did she say? You need to do that. Okay. And what did you say? No. Okay. So then the conversation is over. It wasn't over. She kept pressuring and said, we need to do this. She says, I don't mind putting it on. You need to take the dog in. Why don't you call your boss? You need to ask them to take, it, take off work to get Missy in. After feeling pressured, I said, you know, okay. Let, you know, she said, we need to take her in. So I did. And then she said, call the vet, see what you can do to make an appointment. We'll put it on my card. So I did that. And? They, we took the dog into the first clinic. It was closed. We called and got the dog a later appointment. Oh, no, no. Who's we? Me and Amy. No, no, no. Two people aren't on the phone at the same time. I was time. on the phone. You were on the phone. I so made an you appointment. Called, mm -hmm. Then you called the same clinic or a different clinic? No, the first clinic was we, closed. It was closed. Amy called the second one. We were able to get the dog in later that afternoon. Just a second. So you did not call. So That's she right. called the, the second, second clinic. One. Is that correct? Yes, it's my vet. And? They ran the test to find out what was wrong. And the conclusion was that there was something in the dog's stomach. Okay. And they came out and told you that? Yes. And you were sitting there with the plaintiff? Yes. 